Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Let's take a look at the latest updates on the world of asteroids, which seem to be making frequent appearances in the news lately. According to NASA, two asteroids the size of 22 penguins are set to pass Earth this weekend. Both asteroids, namely 2023 AT and 2023 AE1, are approximately 22 meters wide, equivalent to the size of 22 emperor penguins. While these asteroids are not expected to collide with our planet, penguins are still more likely to pose a threat, the report says. Moving on to another report by NASA, two asteroids the size of 100 pugs are set to pass Earth on Tuesday. These asteroids, namely 2019 B02 and 2019 BZ4, have a diameter of about 36 meters, equivalent to the size of 100 pugs. However, there's no need to worry about a possible collision, as pugs are more likely to pose a threat than these asteroids. On Wednesday, NASA reported that an asteroid the size of 14 flamingos is set to skim past Earth. The asteroid, known as 2023 DJ-1, has a width of about 14 meters, while flamingos can grow as tall as 1.4 meters. Despite its size, this asteroid is not expected to hit our planet, and we should be more cautious around those fabulous birds. In yet another update, an asteroid the size of 112 camels is expected to pass Earth on Wednesday. The asteroid, named 2023 DQ, could be as wide as 270 meters, equivalent to the combined height of over 112 dromedary camels. Fortunately, NASA has confirmed that this asteroid will only be passing by and not posing any danger to our planet. March seems to be the month for animal-shaped asteroids passing by the Earth. A massive asteroid the size of 69 American alligators, estimated to be as much as 320 meters in diameter, is set to pass by Earth on Tuesday. Although this asteroid is not expected to hit us, if it did, the impact could be catastrophic and even devastate an entire continent. Finally, in late March, NASA reported that an asteroid the size of 22 tuna fish is set to fly closer to Earth than the Moon on Saturday. Initially, there were concerns that this asteroid, known as 2023 DZ2, could potentially collide with Earth in 2026. However, further analysis has confirmed that this asteroid will only be flying by, posing no threat to our planet. It's truly remarkable how lucky we are on Earth. News about asteroids passing by the Earth seems to be popping up almost daily these days. While, according to them, there have been thousands of asteroids that have come close to Earth in the past year alone, none of them have hit Earth. What a stroke of luck. Lol. I mean, gamblers have at least won the lottery once in their lifetime. Do you know what I mean? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. By the way, I have some exciting news coming straight out of India that is sure to leave you in awe. Archaeologists in the state of Maharashtra have just discovered petroglyphs that date back a staggering 12,000 years. But wait, it gets even more astonishing. These petroglyphs belong to an ancient civilization that is still unknown to science. Yes, you heard that right. We are talking about a civilization that has been lost in the sands of time, only to be discovered now by a team of dedicated and passionate archaeologists. As of now, they have only managed to touch the surface of this historical treasure, 
with more than 400 petroglyphs yet to be explored. Now, get ready for this folks. The initial determination of the age of these petroglyphs is 10,000 years BC. But hold on, there is a possibility that they are much older than that. Can you even fathom the enormity of that statement? We are talking about a civilization that existed more than 10,000 years ago, a time that is almost beyond our comprehension. But that's not all, these petroglyphs are not just old, they are also incredibly diverse. They depict people, animals, birds, and all kinds of symbols that are fascinating to behold. And here's the kicker. Among these drawings, there are animals that do not even exist in India today. We are talking about hippos and rhinoceroses, which are native to Africa. This begs the question, did these animals once roam this land, or were the natives of Africa present in India at that time? What do you think? In the bustling European cities of the 18th century, life was a constant parade of colorful characters and events. But among the throngs of people, there were giants, or so it seemed in the eyes of the artist Nicholas Jean Baptist Ragnet. Ragnet, a master of the Veduta genre of painting, was known for his intricate depictions of everyday life in the city. His works captured the vibrancy and diversity of European urban centers, from the lively markets to the elegant bridges that spanned the rivers. One of Ragnet's most famous paintings is, a depiction of a boat race on the Seine River in Paris, between the Bridge of Change and the Bridge of Notre Dame. The painting, completed in 1756, shows a group of boatmen standing on the riverbank, cheering on their colleagues who are rowing in the boats below. But what is striking about the painting is, the size of the standing boatmen. They appear to be at least twice the size of the men in the boats, a detail that has puzzled art historians for centuries. Some have suggested that the size difference is an allegory, a symbolic representation of the power dynamics between the boatmen and their patrons. Others have argued that Ragnet simply took artistic license, exaggerating the size of the standing figures to make them more visible in the painting. But, what do you think? Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.